What is up, peoples? I am back! Here we go again. Another round. This is handheld console overlays. Or bezels. Okay, let's check out something here. Let's check out the Neo Geo Pocket. Gotta like the Neo Geo Pocket. It's pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, I'm just gonna briefly show you a few. I know you, I showed you some uh, in the handheld or home console overlay video. So I'll just throw, show you a few little quick ones here. I won't get too much into this. But uh, here's Atari Lynx here. And I'll show you how, you how you guys can set up this. Make it look sweet. Yeah, I like this one. That's pretty cool. Like I said in the other video, I had to fix that one up. The Photoshop. Tinker, you can design your own. Whatever you feel like doing. Oh, lots of zombies dying. So, uh, yeah, you can design your own or whatever you want to do. It's all good. It's your imagination. Or you can use other people's. This one I use someone else's, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty clean, pretty basic. But I like it. I mean, sometimes you don't want too much going on. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not really sure what this game is. It's some sort of ninja game of some sort. I'll give it a shot here. Ah, oh, too much yapping. Oh, stop. Oh, more yapping? Oh, man, yapping more than I do. Is that even possible? Oh, come on. I just want to play. What? Ah, stop interrupting me. Alright, enough of that. Alright, so uh, let's check out the Wonder Swan color this time. We saw the Wonder Swan one black and white uh, last video I made. So we'll uh, try out this one now. I use the same one though. Sometimes, you know, if you like a certain one, you can use the same one for black and white or the colored consoles. To each his own, really. It's up to you. Totally what you want to do. So basically, um, handheld consoles are pretty much the same setup as home uh, overlays, home console overlays. The only difference is you're going to change uh, config file. Not the config file that goes in with the bezel or overlay, but another config file. And that will change the size of the screen, of the game screen. That way it's not so big and everything. Uh, this one looks pretty nice. I like this one. I, I, I like this overlay. So yeah, you're only going to basically change things for the for the center, for the screen, for the actual gameplay size. So all you're doing is changing the size of the game. So it's not so blown up and pixel ball. You know. It looks nicer. And uh, that's probably what you want to do. We'll uh, throw on some Game Boy Color here. Oh, I always lands on Battleship. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same as home uh, overlays, home console overlays, just with that extra config file to uh, to uh, change the screen size. That's that's it. Everything else is exact, exactly the same, pretty much. This Game Boy Advance one looks really nice. I really like this one. Uh, you may have some already at home that you haven't been using yet. So I'll walk you through all this and uh, the way you can use them. You can do her up. Make her look pretty sweet. So yeah, this uh, bezel looks pretty nice. I like it. It looks pretty sharp. The background there and everything. The characters on the sides. Uh, I always like my Game Boy one. I don't know why. Just to do this looks neat. Like you're, you know, like you're sitting there playing your Game Boy, wearing a pair of jeans. You could be sitting on the toilet, or well, I guess you wouldn't have your jeans on then. But uh, you can sit on a bus or subway, you could be playing your Game Boy. But really, you're sitting in your living room on a 40-inch TV. Well, 40-inch uh, Game Boy screen, I should say. Maybe your screen is 55-inch. Uh, it certainly look better as a 40 inch screen than with a 55 inch screen, that's for sure. Uh, so we're gonna, 
um, get into um, into the uh, RetroPie setup here. And I'll show you what to do here. As uh, so we get down to configuration tools and config it, config it, uh, and then go into Libretto and then down to uh, your console you're working on, your handheld. You go down to that and see how it says uh, custom. That's what's going to, it's going to automatically say that when you put your custom um, config file in there. So automatically say that. And then, of course, uh, you're going to say the true for that because you want to allow your bezel or overlay. And you're going to find the one you want. So you can label, even if you get one, you download it, but you want to rename it. You can rename it yourself as long as you rename the config file as well. That's the main thing. And you can just get out of that. And uh, this is uh, the file manager. You can use PuTTY as well or other programs to get onto your Pi. Or you can do it this way. And I go up to uh, to uh, my flash drive or jump drive. So, uh, And then I go over the tab. You can tab over. Hit tab on your keyboard. And go over to the other side. That's your Pi there. So you want to go into... Uh, this is just to put your uh, your borders in, or your overlays, or bezels, all right? And uh, then you just hold uh, Shift in and push push down on the keyboard, and then you hit F5, and you hit OK, and it'll transfer your uh, your config file as well as your overlay or bezel. It'll transfer right over to the other side. And your and you can put those in the same place as your home console uh, bezels or overlays. So it can go in the exact same spot. As long as your config files are with your bezels or overlays. You keep them there. And then to get out of that, you hit F5. To get out of that. And now we're back in RetroPie here. Um, I just want to talk a little more about that. It's, I mean, the settings are pretty much the same. Except you wouldn't have 4x3 or unset. You'd have a custom one, right? To set your overlay or bezel. Um, so see how it says custom there. That's what you want. You want it to have it say custom. And I'll show you where to put the uh, your uh, custom uh, config file as well. That you're going to change the size. I'm going to show you how to change the size as well of your screen. Because that's, well, that's the most important thing, right? Pretty useless if you can't change the size of your game. So we can just get out of that. Anytime you're in File Manager too, just hit F10 to escape out of the File Manager. And this one, you just got to get back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like a headache. Okay, hit Exit. All right, now we're back into the File Manager. I'm going to show you um, where to go here. First, you go to uh, your to get your config file. Your config file can be on your jump drive, or it can be on your computer. Then you go to Opt RetroPie, and then you go to Config files and you go into say Atari links and there's your C retroarch config that's the one you're going to replace so shift down till it turns yellow and then F5 to transfer it over and it's going to override it's going to ask you to override and it's going to be in red when it says when to override and you say yes and that's what you're going to do once you change the size of the screen which I'll show you to do on the computer and you might have to do this a while, like you might have to keep doing this because you know until you get the resize right, it may take you 10, 15, 20 times even to do to fine tune this. But it's gonna be worth it in the end, and you'll always have it, and you can transfer it to other uh, images too, not just uh, one image. It can go to all your images if you have you know two or three kicking around for your Raspberry Pi. Uh, so that that's the important thing. It's going to take you a while. You have to have patience. You just don't, don't plan on leaving the house for an hour. You know, each one might take you an hour to do, but it, it's worth it in the end. I know you can go through uh, RetroArch. You can do it that way. So here I'm at the computer here. Now this top here is your width of the actual game, and the bottom part there is your height of your actual game. So your width and height will have to be changed. This one's set to Atari Lynx, so you can go ahead and use this one for the Atari Lynx if you have the same overlay and bezel as I do. Um, so you keep you play with your width and play with your height so you get the rough looking size to it. And then now down below here, your x axis, 
The higher number moves to the right, the lower number moves to the left. So you decrease that or increase that, depending on if you want to go left or right. And I'll post both of these for you. I'll post the clean one, and I'll post the second one. Um, so you know which one's higher number moves left, lower number moves, or sorry, higher number moves to the right, lower moves to the left. And the bottom, the y-axis, is higher number moves down, lower number moves up. So if you want to move your image up, your gain, then move it up. And uh, if you want to move it down, then, you know, lower the number. And sometimes you only, you might only lower the number by one or two, which I've done just to make it perfect. And it can take you forever and it can be a pain, but it's worth it. And pick a game too that, you know, shows the full screen right away. You don't have to sit and hit, you know, buttons 20 times just to see the whole full screen. And there you go. There it is. So we'll, we'll, uh, chat you later.